Guys, in this video, we are going to learn how we can install Tailwind CSS in React application. So we are going to be creating a new React application using white and we will see how we can set up a Tailwind CSS in our React application. So I'm here on tailwindcss.com and we are going to explore the documentation and take the help of documentation to do Tailwind CSS installation. So let's go to the documentation here. So here in the documentation, we can see that there is a step by step guide on how to install Tailwind CSS because we are going to be installing Tailwind CSS in React. So let's go to framework guides. So here in the framework guides, you can see that Tailwind CSS can be installed in many different platforms. For example, if we are creating a React app using create React app, that's the documentation that we should be following. And if we are doing it in next JS, they have a separate documentation for that. In this video, I'm, I'm going to be creating a react app using white. So that's the documentation that I'm going to be looking at. So let's go to white documentation. So in the white documentation, we are using react. So I'm going to be following this react documentation. If you're using Vue.js, you can follow that documentation. But in this video, we are going to focus on React application. So that's the documentation we are going to follow. And step by step, I'm going to show you how to use Tailwind CSS in React application. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code and create a new React project. So I'm just going to copy this first command here to create a React application using white. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. And here in the terminal, I'm just going to run that command. So as I have created a new react application using that command and I have opened a new react application that I created using white. So in this application, I'm just going to run a command npm install and I'm going to start this application by running another command that is npm run dev. So now my new react application is running on this port. I'm just going to copy that link, go to my browser and here is my tailwind CSS documentation. I'll open a new tab and see if my application is running fine. So guys, you can see that our application is running fine. Now we are going to install Tailwind CSS in this application. So let's go back to the documentation here. So here in this documentation, I'm just going to install Tailwind CSS by running this command that is npm install Tailwind CSS and some other modules that is post CSS and auto prefixer. So let's copy that and go back to the terminal, open a new terminal here and run that command. So now Tailwind CSS has been installed in this application. We are going to initialize all the Tailwind packages by running another command that is npx Tailwind CSS initialize. So I'm just going to copy that and go back to my application and run this command here in my terminal. So after running this command, I can see that this has created a Tailwind config file in my React application. If I go to this config file here, you can see that there is some code here which is coming by default and we are going to follow the documentation and make some changes to this code. So let's go back to the documentation. So here in the next step, they have told us exactly what changes we need to do in Tailwind config file. So we don't have to change anything except the content where we have to mention the root of our application that is index.html. And we also have to mention the directory where we are going to be creating all the components. So I'm just going to copy that, go back to my application and here in the content, I'm just going to add these two things. This is going to be the root of the application and under the source, we are going to be creating all the components for this React application. So let's save that and let's see in the documentation what else we need to do. So the next thing we have to do is to add the tailwind in index.css. So whatever CSS is going to be written, index.css basically applies to the entire application. So if we include Tailwind there, our Tailwind is going to be active for the entire application and all the components that we are going to create. So here in index.css, I'm going to remove all the default CSS that we have here. We are not going to need that. And I'm going to add a Tailwind in my index.css and save it here. So guys, that's all we need to do to activate Tailwind CSS in our application. Now let's go to app.jsx and here I'm just going to remove all the default code that we have here and we are going to put hello world and wrap it under a div tag. 
Now let's save this, go back to our React applications. So here we can see a simple text that says hello world. To do a quick test if Tailwind is active in this application, I'm just going to apply some styling on this text. So here in the div tag, I'm just going to add a class name and here in the class name, I'm just going to write some Tailwind CSS. Basically, we are going to increase the font size of this text using Tailwind CSS. And this is going to be a test if Tailwind is successfully activated in our project. So here I'm just going to say my text size should be 100 pixels. So if I save this, go back to my application, now you can see that our text size has increased to 100 pixels, which means that Tailwind CSS is working fine in our application. So guys, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I'll see you in the next one.